Hi, I'm Dr. Sara Nick Rivon. I'm a cardiothoracic anesthesiologist and intensivist, and I'm talking to you today about lung ultrasonography. This is another section in our five-part series discussing pleural effusions and how best to evaluate them with lung ultrasound. Now, on lung ultrasound, a pleural effusion is visualized as an interposition of fluid, or black, between pleura and lung. An example of this here, uh, where you see consolidated lung that's kind of bright and squished down on the right-hand side of the screen, this black fluid on top of it, um, and a little bit more of gray material, which is actually liver on the left-hand side of the image. Here's just another example of consolidated lung on the left-hand side of the screen within a black uh, body of fluid, which is a pleural effusion, and liver as delineated on the right-hand side of the screen with kidney below it. What's very peculiar or interesting about this ultrasound image is when you're looking at it, you see this area at the bottom, which is what we call a spine sign, where you're actually able to see the spine. You see uh, ultrasonographic evidence of the spine and the bottom portion of the image. And this is because fluid actually will uh, propagate the ultrasound beam and allow for clear visualization of structures below it. So oftentimes, if you're not sure if there is a pleural effusion, but you see the spine behind the lung, then you have an understanding that indeed there must be some sort of effusion that's propagating the ultrasound signal so that you can visualize a posterior structure such as the spine. Here's another example of this. A, a patient, we were scanning the lower portion of their lungs in quadrant four. You see liver on the left-hand side of the screen and then those bright areas and dropout from the bone that would be visualized when you're evaluating spine. That gave us an, an idea that there must be some sort of pleural effusion there that we weren't seeing very well and we went on to further uh, look for a pleural effusion that we knew must be within the chest cavity. Here's another example of a loculated right pleural effusion where you're seeing areas of pleural effusion that have been compartmentalized within septae and fibrous sorts of material. Um, and this is oftentimes what you'll see in a patient with a complex pleural, pleural effusion that's been loculated. So that is going to be the end of our talk on pleural effusions. Um, I'll see you again. Hopefully you can join me for the rest of the this five-part series where we'll go on to talk about other areas of lung ultrasonography and the pathologies that you may find.